Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I'm going to be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of March 2020. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say thank you all for your well wishes and your positive messages. When I was sick pretty much um, the entire month of January, uh, I was in the hospital, but I am definitely healing and recovering, and uh, your messages were definitely very much appreciated and helped me, uh, helped me really uh, get over that challenge. So I just want to say thank you. <clears throat> so uh, for the readings this month, I'm going to be using my uh, Trip and Weight Tarot deck for clarifiers. I will use my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck. And then Sagittarius, um, as we close out your reading, I will pull an Angels and Ancestors Oracle card. If this is your first time catching one of my videos, I do invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month. And I would love to share your money message with you. Uh, also, if you are not familiar with my readings, I do read jumper cards. As you notice, that as I shuffle the deck, you will see cards flip out or flip over or jump from the deck. And those are the cards that I choose to read because I do believe they have a specific uh, message that we need to pay attention to. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get into your reading. You've got a very powerful start <laughs> to March. So what do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of March 2020, what do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? All right, Sagittarius. Let me make sure none of the cards are cut off. Okay, Sagittarius. As we move into the first week of March, you're definitely going through some big life transformative changes. Now that's very exciting because it <clears throat> it really means that you're kind of coming into your own identity. You're coming into your own power and you're really ready to kind of like take on the challenge of whatever this big change is. Now this big change is something that definitely affects your money and your financial life. Uh, it could be something work related. It could be a personal relationship, but whatever this big change is, it's definitely affecting your money outlook, especially for the month of March. Now we have the world and the star card here. Now these are two very positive cards. Even when they're in the reverse position, they're still positive only just to a lesser degree. Uh, you're definitely going to be getting some attention. You're going to be recognized for something. Also, we have the world card here. And this means, too, that things, uh, because you have such a big, major change, that so many other things are being affected. Your whole world is changing because of whatever this big change is. Now, because the change is so huge, it's only natural that it's going to affect other areas of your life, especially if it's something work-related or if it's something health-related. Um, sometimes that could be too because the star card also represents health and wellness. So you could be ha going through a health challenge and maybe that's affecting uh, other areas of your life as well. Now, like I said, the world card in the reverse position just means that there's so many things being affected by this big change. And you're going to have to adjust. You're going to have to course correct as, as the month moves on. You're definitely going to have to kind of uh, pay attention to things that you probably didn't have to pay attention to before. And you're also going to have to make some decisions and put things in place that you didn't have to deal with before. You're going to be having some new responsibilities. And with new responsibilities, sometimes comes new challenges and new ways of looking at certain situations, new ideas, new people that you have to deal with. So just know that uh, this is a change for the better. However, sometimes it may not feel that way because you've got you know new situations arising as a result of that change. 
Now we have the Three of Wands here. This means that you may have had some future plans uh, that you were working on. However, those plans are on hold. And I think that's probably a good thing because you've got so many other things that you need to deal with, especially in that first week of March, Sagittarius. You know, so whatever it is that you've been thinking about, um, if you put those plans on hold, that might give you a little bit more of clarity and stability, especially right now as you start to adjust, like I said, and you start to kind of get more grounded in your new situation. Now we have the Ace of Wands here. Now this is very exciting because as a result of this major change, it's creating a lot of new opportunities for you. Opportunities that probably uh, were not on your radar not on your radar or not um, available to you in the past because, you know, maybe it was something that you just didn't pay attention to. Maybe this change has brought some new people into your life. And so now you've got all these new opportunities that you're going to be considering. And we also have the Two of Cups here in the reverse position. This tells me that there's going to be uh, probably some type of uh, separation or maybe people are just going to kind of I don't want to say people are just like up and leaving, but because you've got so many things going on, there's going to be people who kind of naturally separate themselves uh, from you or maybe from the common situation that you share. And this isn't anything really to worry about. It's just kind of a natural progression of life and, and, and how things happen when we do go through life transforming changes. So just know that um, people will be leaving, but it's also making room for new people to come into your life, okay? And this isn't anything that you can control, and it's not anything that you specifically did. Like I said, it's just the nature of the situation where, you know, people are in our lives for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And uh, sometimes you have no control over how that happens or when it happens. Okay, so what do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of March 2020? What do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? All right, Sagittarius, uh, definitely I'm getting confirmation about what we talked about, especially as things happen in that first week of March. You've got big changes going on, but it's actually kind of turning your life in a whole new direction. You've got a brand new journey starting. That's what we see here with this Fool card in the upright position. It's definitely you moving into a new role even in your life. Uh, you're moving into a new identity on some level. And that's very exciting because this is something that is brand new to you and the people around you. It's also a new opportunity to kind of take take some chances that you haven't been able to take before. Uh, it's also a new opportunity for you to kind of really pursue with no holds barred. You know, you have this uh, opportunity to really just go in a brand new direction and it's exciting, it's motivating, it's inspiring. And you're definitely going to have the ability to do that and you're going to start seeing signs of that in that second week of March. Now we also have... Excuse me. We also have the Nine of Wands here. The Nine of Wands is sometimes um, we could feel a little bit defeated in some ways, but it's not because you're actually you actually are defeated. Sometimes when we see this Nine of Wands, it's it's um, this Nine of Wands is. It's kind of the energy of wanting to give up and wanting to kind of let go and kind of feeling like you're, you're all tapped out. Now just know that this is a temporary situation and it's not going to be something that um, definitely affects you long term. It's just kind of, you know, the emotional ups and downs of, you know, big changes that happen in our lives and you learning how to deal with that and kind of re-evaluating exactly how you are creating and fitting into your own life. Now we have the guru here. Sometimes we have to be our own savior. 
so to speak, when the guru shows up in the reverse position, it means that sometimes you are choosing not to kind of uh, rely on your own knowledge or your own experience. You're kind of seeking outward for answers. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But you sometimes we have to be our own guru and we have to go within. Even if it's painful, even if it's uncomfortable, or even if it's challenging in some other way. You know, we have to be our own saviors a lot of the time because in reality, no one's coming to save us. And sometimes when we seek answers outside of ourselves, it takes us on a path that we're just not trying to go. Or it takes us in a direction that just doesn't serve us. And it can be confusing, it can be painful, and it can be overwhelming. And sometimes that can cause us to feel like we're limited in some way. And I say that because we have the Eight of Swords here. This is a card about self-limitations. This is about holding ourselves back because we think we can't do something or we think we don't have what it takes. But let me tell you, that's totally not the case. And that's totally not true because we have the Ace of Wands here saying that you have new opportunities and new things showing up. People want to work with you. People want to connect, you know, so don't allow yourself to kind of get caught up in doubt or self-limiting beliefs. Now, we also have the Page of Swords here. The Page of Swords in the reverse position tells me that you're going to get a message as it relates to your money. However, it's going to be some type of a delay. The Page of Swords, the Swords, you know, suit is all about swiftness, uh, energy moving quickly, moving in and out quickly, back and forth. Uh, when I see this card in the reverse position, it tells me that you do have a message as it relates to business work or something else, maybe investments. However, the Page of Swords usually shows up as some type of a delay of some sort or things slowing down okay I apologize for <laughs> my dog barking in the background but let's continue on and see what we can uh, clarify for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity. And abundance for the month of March 2020. What do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? All right, Sagittarius. Uh, work is definitely going to... Things are happening at work and things are going to be picking up at work and you're also going to be seeing some changes at work. Um, if you are an employee or you have a business, just know that things are changing for the better as it relates to your work. There's also going to be a lot of um, grounding and stability as it relates to your work in some way. I say that because we have the Knight of Wands in the upright position. Also have the Nine of Pentacles <clears throat> upright, Seven of Swords reverse. Three of Pentacles upright, King of Wands in the reverse. Knight of Wands, like I said, is all about uh, movement of some sort. However, the Knight of Wands is a very grounded, stable, um, things kind of remaining in place for right now. And this is actually going to be good news because you could have been worried about maybe some potential changes on the horizon. This is just telling me that either those changes are not going to take place or even though the changes do happen, it doesn't affect you directly. It means that you're okay, you're secure, you're stable, you're grounded. Uh, things are definitely not moving in a bad way for you. Or if they do move, it affects you in a very positive way. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles here, and this is very good because it means that you're going to be experiencing the, fru the fruits of your labor. Uh, you're going to be enjoying uh, money that you've made, maybe an investment comes through, uh, maybe a payoff of some sort is definitely coming your way. But whatever it is, as we move into the second half of March, you're going to be feeling really, really um, happy and you're going to be enjoying the work you've done and you're going to be seeing and experiencing the results of that. Now we have the Seven of Swords here in the reverse position. This tells me that there was something kind of shifty maybe going on behind the scenes or there could have been someone uh, that you didn't necessarily eh, trust and that person has kind of been removed from the situation. 
Okay, it could have been someone behind the scenes literally stealing something, or it could have just been someone who was just not honest and trustworthy. Whatever the case may be, just know that that person is being removed from the situation and it's not going to affect you and your money uh, going forward. Now, we also have the Three of Pentacles here in the upright position. This tells me that people are noticing your work and they do want to connect with you in some way. People are seeing that you do a good job and that you're talented and you're experienced and that you really have a lot of knowledge as it relates to your work or your professional life. You have people who are very interested in the work you do. And for some reason, they're either admiring your work or they're taking notes on what exactly it is that you do because they do want to have some type of a connection to you in a professional way uh, sometime in the near future. Just know that uh, the work you're doing is not going unnoticed and that you will be recognized on some level very soon. Now we also have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands again is a very stable, grounded energy. There will be some lateral movements uh, as we move towards the end of that third week of March. And when I say lateral movements, it means that things are gonna be shifting into different places, maybe in different areas, different timings, uh, but it's not going to be something that you really have to worry about. It may just be some things happening and shifting. Uh, it's not in your control and it may feel a little disruptive, but just know that it's only temporary and it's not going to be anything long-term because this is in the reverse position. That tells me that it's just something that's kind of happening right now, but it's not something that's gonna stick and that the changes are not something that are going to um, really affect you as you look out towards the future. I just noticed there was a card flipped over here. Oh, two cards flipped over. All right. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of March 2020, what do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? What do we need to know for Sagittarius for March 2020? Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Uh, as you move towards the end of March, that's when you're going to start making decisions about your future. That's when you can kind of revisit those old ideas that we were talking about here. Remember, we saw the Three of Wands here in the first week. He's showing up again in the upright position towards the end of March, which means you kind of put some decisions on hold at the beginning of March. By the time we get towards the end of March, you're going to be ready to kind of reevaluate and revisit those decisions, those ideas, those opportunities. You start really planning out your future and really start deciding what exactly it is that you want to pursue. How do you want to spend your time? How do you want to uh, show up in your professional life? Now, we also have the Six of Pentacles here in the reverse position. This tells me that uh, you're probably not going to necessarily feel like you want to uh, be doing a lot of spending towards the end of March. Also, you may have people uh, trying to hit you up for loans and that type of thing. Uh, it's going to be, you know, an inconvenience more so than anything else, but you're going to be in a position to where someone's going to say, hey, can I borrow some money or hey, can you pay for this? Um, you know, just, you know, people just kind of hitting you up out of the blue and, you know, you know how to handle that. You know how to say no, or if it's something you want to help others with, um, by all means do so. But, uh, when I see this card here in the reverse, this just tells me that, um, this is more like a heads up, kind of like a warning. There's going to be people who are reaching out and trying to borrow money and, uh, just be prepared, you know, be prepared to say no or be prepared to uh, kind of deal with it in your own way. Now we also have the Seven of Pentacles here. The Seven of Pentacles is interesting because this tells me that there is work available for you, but you may not necessarily be fired up about it. It's not that you can't do it or it's not that you you know don't want to do it, but you may be getting a little bit bored or a little bit disheartened with the work. It's like you're ready to progress to something new. You're ready to kind of move on to something bigger, better, a little bit more exciting. But 
it's like you kind of uh, hold on to this because it's something that you know and something that you're familiar with. But just know that a offer will be coming through and that you are going to have new opportunities that show up. You know, so uh, don't feel too uh, disappointed or bored with the work you're doing um, because it is going to be the direct connection to take you into that new thing that you are working towards. Now we also have the page of wands here in the reverse position. Again, this means uh, news and information is coming your way. It means that there's going to be some type of an announcement uh, towards the end of March. I'm feeling like I need one more card for you. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so you've got, you've got a message or you've got um, news, information, an announcement, something coming uh, at the end of March. And because I see the Emperor card here, this is something that's definitely uh, the powers that be are working in your favor. Uh, there's some type of an authority figure that makes a decision or um, kind of reaches out to you and something works out for your behalf. It may not seem like it. The news and information you get, you may think, oh no, this is bad, this is terrible. But let me tell you, as you kind of be patient with this news. Um, really just kind of let this information sit and kind of marinate for a while because whatever this decision is, there's other people, authority figures behind the scenes and things are going to work out for you in a, in a very unique way. Uh, things are going to be kind of in your favor unexpectedly. And I say that, like I said, because we have the emperor here, this means there is an authority figure involved. It could be maybe your boss is at work. It could be a partner of some sort in your business or maybe like a government agency or something like that as it relates to what you're trying to do. But just know you're going to get some news. You're going to get in some information and it may seem like it's not good news, but if you give it time and let it play out, trust and know that it's definitely going to be positive and it's going to work out for your ultimate benefit. So overall, Sagittarius, you have a very interesting month. You've got some highs and lows. You've got some back and forth. Uh, you definitely have changes uh, coming. And, and as a result, your entire month is just basically one of accommodating these changes. And the good thing is, is as you work through these changes, um, it really puts you in a much more solid position financially. You're more comfortable. Um, you're able to attract more money. Uh, you feel a little bit more grounded in your ability to create money or to attract money or to make money. Now, the good thing is, too, is that you're also learning. You're learning some new things about yourself, and it really kind of gives you a lot more power as far as making decisions for your future. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and close out your reading with an Angels and Ancestors Oracle card. Okay, so you got Drum, Dream, and Journey. Wow, very nice. Dream and Journey. I think this has a lot to do with, you know, you kind of really looking at your whole life and seeing how the pieces and the people fit together and you really deciding, okay, this is what I want to create. This is what I want to work towards. And this is how I'm going to make it happen. And I will just kind of do what I need to do and figure things out along the way and just simply trust the process. And I think this reiterates this full card that we saw earlier in your reading because it is about a brand new dream and a brand new journey. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, feel free to drop those down in the comment section below. Again, if you're not subscribed, I do invite you to do so because I do have a lot more readings coming. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for choosing to spend this time with me. We'll do it again next month.